So hello everyone, Ryan here with yet another redstone tutorial. This tutorial is going to be, it's a simpler one, it's basically just what a redstone repeat is and what it does. I had a few people request this, request for me to do this on Twitter, so uh, there you go. All a repeater is, is this. Basically, redstone wire will only travel for 15 places, 15 blocks before it runs out. As you can see, it's run out there. So if I put a torch on here, that'd be powered on because that that's run out. But if I put a redstone repeater here, it will be continued. So if you want really long redstone wires or big contraptions, that will be the main use for a redstone repeater. It's basically just to extend a wire. For the people that are interested, before the redstone repeaters were made, this is basically all it is. It's two inverters, so that inverts it, and then inverts it again. Because uh, before it used to just before repeaters to extend it used to just make an inverter to extend it but if you wanted it to stay on you put another inverter after and that is your redstone repeater there so as you can see you can turn that off that goes off turn that on that goes on that would take two ticks because it takes one tick for that to switch on one tick for that to switch off whereas a repeater can on its own is just one tick so if I do this like that they both have a repeater in, but that one should switch off first before that one. Which it just does, you can just see it there. So now I'm going to go on how to how these are powered. So, redstone repeaters first off, you can just have your source there with a redstone repeater coming out, and that's powered. And then you can have it like this so, power above, it'll power that. That yeah, redstone wire powers the block below, and it will power that there, so you can like hide it underground, like that. <laughs> and then come over here. If this block above is powered, basically any block that that's powered can power a redstone repeater. So we've got the torch underneath here, which powers that block, which powers the redstone repeater. So now I'm going to go on to some of the advantages and uses of them. So first off you have clocks like this, so just have a continuous pulse. And this is for, repeaters have uh, ticks. One tick is 0.1 seconds, and that's how long it takes for the wire to pass through it. So if you go like that, it's pretty much instant because it's 0.1 seconds. But if you right click it, that makes it 0.2 seconds, that's two ticks. Right click it again, three ticks, 0.3 seconds, and then finally four ticks, 0.4 seconds, and this is where it's a bit noticeable you can see the delay until it switches off so knowing that each tick is one is a 0.1 seconds, if you have ten of them like that, so one, two, four, four, ten that is one second, so if you add a pulse into it quickly like that every one second that is powered on, there you go every second that switches off. Let's look at the video time below and you can see it's one second. So that's one use for uh, redstone repeaters. Another use is for sending wires down. Like if I just show you this here. The uh, repeater powers this block which if you just put redstone wire into it wouldn't. So oops. The repeater powers that block there which then powers the rest on wire beneath it. So if you use this here on this, use that here, that's powered on. As I showed you over there, that rest on wire powers that block, which powers that repeater. Powers that block, so it powers the wire below it, which powers that repeater, which powers the wire below it. Another way to send wire down is by using torches. So that torch is off which makes that off which makes that torch on which means that wire is on which means that torch is off and so on all the way down now I'll show you why redstone repeaters are better this is only a small one it's only like six blocks high but if I get rid of this torch here sorry if I'm flying a bit dodgy my fly mods just not work anymore and I'm not used to the creative fly the one on the left is the repeater one the one on the right is the torch one and as you can see just just comes off before because it uses one two three ticks instead of one two three four ticks but if you have a massive tower this one would be much more efficient and much more quicker also another use of them is here 
if you want to cross over redstone wire, you'd have to do it like this. Then you'd have to build a bridge over it, like that. So that is one, two, three, and then the red wire on top. That's four tall. But if you want to make things really compact, you can do this. That repeater powers that block. Like it would normally power that block there, but if you put a repeater on top, the repeater is unaffected because it's exactly on top of the power block. So that just passes through and powers that. And then this is just its own little system. So this is only too high. So one, two, yeah. One, two, three. So you can save a lot of space doing this. But that's, that's the main thing to repeat the fourth to save space and time. So there you go. If I think that's covered pretty much all there is of redstone repeaters. As I said, there's not much. So if you have any more questions, just ask below and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Or send me a message on Twitter and I'll answer them on there. So thanks for watching and I hope you've learnt the basics of redstone repeaters.